Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Skulk. Starting a new series, not sure how long, but it's called a tri Trick and Treat. It said it was horror, so I'm not sure what to expect. Maybe it's just because it's Halloween? But we'll see. I think it also said there's romance. Probably. But also I think it was this one, unless I'm mistaken with another one I, ha I got. Because I got quite a few games from the summer sale. But I think there was like one true good ending and then everything else is bleh or bad. So we'll see. Also, this is a screen that's just about big. Caution, this game contains horror elements including blood, jump scares, ghosts, and monsters. If it's giving a caution, it's probably necessary and that this game's gonna be horror actual horror. So it might be cutesy on the outside, but we'll see. Is that, I was actually thinking this might be horror aspect, but in a cute way. Might be there to deceive you. So we'll see how this goes. I wasn't expecting to doing a horror one just yet, but not like I can't. So make sure you are fine with the, uh, the contents before playing the game. I won't know. Until I try. Thanks for the warning, though. It's very kind of you. Kind of you. Lock the door before going out. Just like that. That house? I mean, just for the aspects of it. But for ratios? That's a very small house! But anyways, it, it doesn't matter. It's the aspect of it. It's at the house. Okay. It's perfectly locked. I can definitely count on you now. Well, do you remember what day it is today? Today is... Oh, am I supposed to be putting in our day or any day? Because if it's our day, let's see. Just for the sake of it. Um, month? Zero? Uh, there we go. What? I just told you this evening. And you forgot it again? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Maybe I should have typed in, like, a Halloween date. <laughs> Today's Halloween! So, okay, so, never mind. <laughs> Just a different reaction for the beginning, I guess. So, we are going trick-or-treating. I'm kind of worried. Well, this is your first time outside of the house. Follow me and don't get lost. First time outside the house? How young are we? Or, or how old are we? How old are we? I, if we're if we're like like a, of a decent teenage or twenty-ish plus years, this is our first time out of the house. Holy crap! Even as kids, you travel around the ho uh, outside the house, unless you're talking about as of recent. You have no sense of direction at all, and it'd be pretty terrible if you tripped and broke your head or something. That's pretty grim for the first statements. <laughs> sure. Let's go then. You don't want you to get uh, trip and hurt yourself? No. Crib, uh, trip and break your head? Holy crap, that's pretty grim. <laughs> pretty good graphics, though. A little jingle, too. By the way, did you want to dress up like that? Like this? Well, it's kind of too late. We kind of left the house. It looks more like a Halloween decoration than an outfit. <laughs> I find it adorable. Miss Charlotte told me that I could, I could be whatever I wanted today, right? Yes. And I only wear this witch's hat at the at this time of year. That's why I like Halloween. I really like these little um, RPG Maker things. Most of the time. Sometimes they're really crappy. Sometimes. But that's putting a pretty harsh uh, stamp on people that are just trying. But, you know, not, every not everything's for everyone. So when I say crap, I meant for me. Not saying that it literally is. Unless it literally is. Because sometimes people just put in little effort. That's a whole other thing. Let's get back to the game. <laughs> uh... 
So, why are you afraid of those? Of course the town is decorated with pumpkin head, uh, pumpkin heads on Halloween. The heads, they're really scary. Well, depending on who, uh, how scary, because you just have a little charming smile on yours. You are running the fest. Uh, you're ruining the festival mood. Maybe I should have left you at home. I'm sorry. I can see why you don't like them, but well, it seems that that we have a, have a better place to go. I heard there was another house in the forest that was uh, preparing for trick or treat. If that's the case, let's go play some tricks on them. I don't like the house. Uh, tonight is perfect for some bad jokes. <laughs> Why? D did something happen? Actually, no. I don't even know them. The house suddenly appeared in the forest one day. They seem to be cursed. It sounds disturbing, doesn't it? Since you don't want to visit the town, let's go to the house. Hold shift to run. Got it. Um, Z or space. Investigate or talk. X or escape. Okay, so A and B. Normally, you use A and B on the right hand. Not in this case. F1 is mute settings. F5, full screen. F6, change window size. I've been accustomed to this in these uh, little tiny window things. Did you know that, uh, for those of you who didn't know, um, Undertale is actually in a small tiny screen too. But you can full screen it. I suspecting anyways. Back to title. Okay, F12. I don't really use the F, uh, F somethings, so. I'll, I'll keep the, the windows like this, so it doesn't mess up with my editing. Either we did a bit of a sprint on the dirt, or we descended some stairs. Or ascended. That's the sound that uh, you hear when you're ascending or descending stairs. This house. Hmm. Such terrible taste. It's a castle! Not a house! Listen, Amelia. I won't leave until I have all the candy in this house. Dang! Greedy! Okay, Miss Charlotte really loves candy. Should we knock? Trick or treat! You should not enter the house. What is this place? The smell here is disgusting. And the carpet is sticky. Welcome to my party. Someone is on the second floor. I can't see them. Huh. Give us all your candy, or you'll be sorry. I'm not related to her. In all these dark years, I've been longing for guests. Finally, you are here. Tonight, doors will open. It's a party. A game. Will you have fun? He disappeared. What? Excuse me. This is how you welcome your guests? And this is how you a guest treats the, um, the host? You come in, give us your candy or else. Yeah, that's... 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 That's proper way to speak to people. Especially when you barged into their home. And you're still barging in. Please, wait, Miss Charlotte. I already don't like her. Ew. Do you like reading? I actually don't mind reading. It's paper I have problems with. Um, there's a painting of a young man hanging on the wall. Okay. Mana points? Well, I was playing another horror game previously on my channel. Well, actually on stream and then brought it to my channel. That said we had 
uh, MP, but that wasn't mana points, it was mental points. So, I'm weak, and I'm not very clever. However, I want to do everything I can to help Miss Charlotte, to take care of her. I was born for her. I remember this more clearly than anything. That's not it. So I guess I can't interact with that. Bag of candy? You found two candy. Oh! Guess what's for dinner? Escape to delete. The answer can be less than seven letters. Hmm. No. 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 Okay. Uh, let's see. Um... That's too many dollars. I was gonna say chocolate, but that's too much. Too big. I was gonna say strawberry. <laughs> Lemons. Is it edible? Please go check the kitchen then. Help with it. Hurry, please. <laughs> Is lemons edible? <laughs> All right. Whee! Oh, hello, Blux. Oh, floating book of saves! All right. I got candy! Nothing. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm going in your house, breaking all your stuff, and stealing your candy. Interesting. This actually kind of feels like it's going to be, uh... A horror game. An actual horror game. A clean towel. I did not expect this to be a horror game. I thought this was going to be a charming game. But, you know what? Everything can be to uh, a clean toilet. That's good. A clean toilet. Because every time someone takes a dump, uses it, I should say. Woo! You know, it's not going to be clean. This is going to be cool. Should I break more barrels? I feel like I'm going to... Alright, so I found a candy out of four, uh -oh. I mean, when I saw it, when I was in the other room, my character probably couldn't have seen it, but because I'm eyes in the sky, I could see the next room. There was so much wine spillage everywhere, all over the plates and the carpets and the ground, it's, it's just everywhere. Guess what's been in there. But I already said it's lemons. Is it edible? I will check. So, it's a double-sided door with someone inside that set. well, I guess we should save. And head on out. Oh, wait. Key! Twelve! Are these randomized? Twenty candy. Seventeen candy. What's with all those threes that I've been finding? Something about mythology and folklore. Letters and papers are, are lying all around. Trick or treat? Hmm. A riddle of the Sphinx. She ran upstairs, but I'm going left and right. So, right time. I can't be alone without Miss Charlotte. Danger is everywhere. This house makes me sick. I must find Miss Charlotte before it's too late. And I'll give her all the candy. bad feeling, but when you have a safe, uh, safe book inside of a room, normally it shouldn't be as bad, but that could be misleading. That could be majorly misleading. Does this sound very heavy? Dang, this person just has candy lying in bags around everywhere. Oh, hey! Hey, hey, come back! Can I go back in? Yes, I can. Hi! How you doing? She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. Don't answer. Not yet. Let me save before I die. Because I feel like this is a game with a save point just for the sake that if you say something misleading... She loves you. 
She loves me. White rose. Ah. I'm dead. I'm not. Four candy. Okay. I'm sorry I'm breaking all your barrels. I don't know how I'm doing that. I'm just a I'm just a brand new girl. Holy crap, I don't know what's going on. What's going on? What? Oh, it is hurting me. Okay. 14 candy. So. Dang, when they when they check those door handles, they really mean business. So I'm wondering if I should uh, reload and do things properly. I, yeah, I'm not sure how to heal in this game, if there is ways to heal, or if you can just make so many mistakes. If that's the case... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should, if I save any more, I should save on other files. Hmm. Nah. You know what this means? This episode, well, this series, is gonna be every mistake I do saves. So you know what? If I fail, I'm gonna have to come back here. But just so I don't go through all the dialogue and stuff, I'm gonna go start, start another one. Just in case I do start over from the very beginning because I die, I'll have a bit of a head start. Carpet is sticky and smells funny. Well, I'll leave them be. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Where's Miss Where's Miss Charlotte? Oh, who are you? Help! Good evening. Miss Charlotte. Ah, that young lady. I'm sorry, I didn't catch her. But I'm sure she's still in the house. Are you? Uh, you are here for the party, aren't you? I hope you have a good time. And please, take this. It might be useful. Yay! You turn on the flashlight in the items menu. There are items that can't be found in the darkness. Please use the flashlight for exploring the house. About items. Most of the items will not function automatically. Players just select the item from the menus in the, to use them. Alright. Gorgeous chair. Cold as stone. There was someone sitting in it just now. It was? Hello? I see you! What is your room number? Okay, never mind then. You too? No? Ah! It's just a white sprite. Oh. Miss Charlotte sh uh, shouldn't be stopping stopped by things like this. Huh. Well, that's odd. So I can't go anywhere. I didn't, see, I didn't see a kitchen or anything. Hmm. Who are you? My name is John. It's very nice to meet you. Oh, huh? I think you'll feel better this way. Okay, so he's a safe station too, in a way. Very nice person, so far. Guess they're just silhouettes? I don't know where to go. I had to find Miss Charlotte. Well, I can't go to the right. Can't go to the left, because I don't have a room number. Spooks! Spooks! I did... No. Hey, Spooks, how you doing? Never mind. That was for just gaining new characters. Okay. So, I took a little look at the walkthrough, and they didn't give me the exact answer, but they did say that you type in any food item. And I tried apple. Unless that's not how you spell apple. Maybe I don't know how to spell apple. That's sad. Um. Nice little cherries, right? Is it edible? Please go check the kitchen then. Wait a minute. Hold it. 
Pure move. I don't get it. You said I can get a key, but I'm typing any food item. No, apparently not. Unless it's just definitely not uh, not any food item. You know what? Why not? Let's just do this. Edible? I don't get it. It's locked, man. There. It's it's locked. I I just I can't. Gosh, freaking dang it. It wasn't even in that room the whole freaking time. Maybe I'm just bad at these kind of things. Click on everything. Do I actually get a move? Why am I carrying this? Guess... Guess this really matters. Have this on the whole freaking time. <laughs> guess having a flashlight actually does matter. that it doesn't start off on any of the key things. So, that's good to note. Try everything. Everything. Gosh dang it. All right, so I'm cutting a lot of this out because I wandered for ages. The flashlight can be used in rooms that are not just dark, but to find sparklies in other areas. Oh yeah, and the walkthrough, apparently that door, pointless. Even though the walkthrough online said, go to the kitchen, but you can talk to it for any food item. Apparently, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you put in there, except for if you type in pumpkin. I tried it, not really worth looking into. Item, here we go. Huh? Who is this? I don't know, but I actually pressed that instead of this. There we go. Door's open. Now it's open. I'm gonna go save because something else can kill me in there. I'm sure of it. Alright, here we go. That's not what it looked like before. Death and destruction. Blue potion. Bottles of great, no, cheap red wine. Carpet needs cleaning. Not as clean as the bathroom. <laughs> tomato. And smile at me. Just know I'm hitting a tomato, no matter how long I stare at it. Right. <laughs> Some cleaning tools in the cupboard. Bread and, uh, bread and a night bread knife. I won't eat this. This is not yours. Proper. Still. I'm good at cooking. Sweet! It looks like some ki uh, kind of sauce. Miss Starlight won't like this taste. Did you taste it? The window is blocked. A cask of Amontillado. Amontillado. Oh, dang it. Darn the red wine falling over. The table where, uh, is mostly wooden. I thought it would be something more expensive in such a grand house. It doesn't always need to be expensive. Oh, hello. Marianne. Marianne. What are you doing? Please hurry and bring the wine. To the dining room in one minute. Hurry up. I'm sorry, but I'm not Marianne. I guess I'd better bring it anyway. The dining room is on the right side. Your timer's going! Alright, gotta run. Darn timer starting and playing when I, uh, when I, uh, was chatting. That's not very fair. The dining room is not here. Oh, the dining room's not here. I know, I'm trying to go up. 
Here we go. Ah, oh, there you are. You brought the wine. Thank you. So the dinner is will be ready soon. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I better die. What's in this cupboard? Uh pumpkin times ghosts equal uh, minus candy equals what? Candy buckets? Okay, now I gotta do math. Is this a puzzle? Uh, I want to open it. Hmm. So, how many ghosts are in the dining room? Maybe. Various kinds of tea, but they're all expired. Fine bone china. Pumpkin ghost candy. Who are you? Me? Of course I'm a ghost. Okay, so there's two ghosts. There are seven candy buckets and three pumpkins. So, pumpkins times ghosts equals six minus how many candy buckets? So, it must be one. There should be clues in the dining room. I, um, seven candy buckets, three, uh, uh, three pumpkins, Pumpkin heads. There are three hanging on the wall. Where's the wine going? I'm a broomstick. How should I know? Was there just one ghost? Three. I'm so sure that would be three times two, six minus candy. Which would be one. That would actually be negative one, wouldn't it? But I can't do negative one. So, if there's just one ghost, those two, would be three minus seven, which is four, so let's try that. I guess the brooms are ghosts. Did I miss something? Well, I'm sure that I'm not a ghost. Nine. Is it two? Yes. But I did it! Three times two is six equals one. Should I just try all the numbers and get the guess? Five. How is that? It says minus. So how is five it? I have to figure this out. Three times two is six. Minus candy buckets. How is that five? I don't understand why that equation worked. How does that equation work? Magazines are for light reading. An old shiny thing. Key to cloakroom. Well, that's that's just odd. That's just completely odd. 15 candy. 9 candy. 22. 14. I don't know why I'm reading like this. 1 candy. Dang. Yeah, I if there's 20, 20 candy or something else. It's not dinner time yet. You'll be back, right? Oh, you know what? Yeah, I can. I can be. No problem. All right. So, I think I'll leave it off here. I'm gonna do, have to do some major cutting in this because there's because uh, when you come across some, I'm I'm damaged. I'm not sure if this is how many mistakes I can make. I don't know why they make it. If they give you 300 health and they're always doing 20, it has to have other things that does less damage. Otherwise, why go through the uh, why not say just 15 health? Anyways. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of cutting in these. I mean, it's not like it's not common. Markiplier and other YouTubers that I watch do a lot of cutting, editing, so yeah. So it's no big deal for me to cut. I was going to say I am going to be needing to. Because there's... I was wandering for a while. Anyways, this is going to be interesting. 
So thank you guys for stopping by. And until I see you guys again. Have a great day, everyone.